Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my nice little diddly there. Wampler have come out with a new delay pedal and it is absolutely awesome. The Metaverse is an incredible little unit consisting of 11 of Brian Wampler's favourite delays of all time. It's programmable, preset capable, true stereo and offers enhanced MIDI control. A cool thing about this pedal is it has an expression input that you can assign to any of the parameters. I've said it before, when it comes down to gear, if there's too much tech involved, like if you have to scroll through display after display, it deters me, it scares me, and it completely puts me off using it. There is none of that with this pedal. It's super straightforward, like old school, right in front of you. Everything you need is right there in the unit. You don't really need to hook it up to anything else to kind of explore the full potential of this pedal, which I absolutely love. Speaking of tech, here is some tech talk for you guys, which I can't fully wrap my head around as a person that doesn't really dabble with MIDI, um, but it probably will make some sense to you. The metaverse offers complete control over every program via MIDI CC messages or PC commands. It can accept a global clock signal from a MIDI controller. By default, it's set to omni-channel mode, meaning it'll accept a MIDI command on any channel. So yes, to me that doesn't mean a whole lot, but the general gist that I got from that is that you could hook it up to your computer and control it via MIDI from there, should you choose to do so, which is pretty cool, I guess. Although it's old school, it's still keeping up with the modern side of things, which is good, but it's not necessary. I think that's what's important here. The Metaverse can be run in stereo or mono, and it actually works best if you smash it in the effects loop, um, which is something I always do with my delays and exactly what I was doing today. I was running um, the delay pedal into my effects loop in my little 15 watt EVH head here into my two notes Captor X, and then just me running into the front of my amp. I just like running all modulation through my effects loop. I just find they have a lot more of an impact, but they do say that this pedal also sounds absolutely epic out the front of your amp, so if you don't have an effects loop, do not worry, they've got you covered. As I mentioned earlier, we've got 11 delays, 11 different delays in this one unit, which is absolutely rad and I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are. <laughs> so our first setting is an analog delay and it's based on a Boss DM2. We've then got Wet, which is based on a way huge Aquapus. BBD is based on an Electro Harmonics Memory Man. Jet's really cool because it uses an analog algorithm with some flange on the echoes. I had a lot of fun with this one. Doc is based on the Wampler Doctor. FTE is based on the Wampler Faux Tape Echo. F or ETH is based on the Wampler Ethereal. Again, this was one that I had a lot of fun with. Mod uses the digital setting with more flange on the echoes. Again, a lot of fun. SPC is like a blend between a space echo and an echoplex. Tape is based on a Binson echo rack. And Digi is based on a TC Electronic 2290. So the delay time on the metaverse goes all the way from 25 milliseconds up to two seconds. So you've got like a super wide spectrum of um, delay times to kind of play around with. Taking a look at the trail switch, I had it to the right for the, the whole time because I wanted all of the trails, but when it's to the left, you have true bypass, and when it's to the right, you have trails and buffered bypass. As with most delays, the mod knob controls the depth of the modulation, and here's the cool part. If you hold down the bypass switch and then start playing with the modulation knob, you can control the tempo of the modulation. Mix knob simply controls how dry or wet you want your signal, so to the left means dry, and to the right means wet. A super cool feature of this pedal, which again, I don't think I've actually seen before in a delay pedal. You have the ability to um, give yourself a little boost or a little cut on the volume itself. So all you have to do to do that is hold down your bypass switch until it goes red and then play with a mix knob and you have the ability to go upwards of plus six decibels all the way down to minus six decibels in volume. Wampler have very kindly given us eight presets to get started with, so if you pick up this pedal and just wanna get started with something and don't really wanna dial in your own tone, they've got you covered. And there's more presets available if you decide to go down the MIDI route and hook it up to your computer. Saving presets is also really easy. You simply hold down the preset save button um, and then decide which one that you would like to save your preset to and then hold down again to save it. Obviously this switch is for touching, not for stamping on. Um, so if you're on stage and you need to kind of like jiggle through your presets and you don't wanna be like down there poking the floor essentially, you can hold down the tap tempo button until it turns green and you can navigate your way around um, your different presets using that. Um, and to get back, just hold it down again 
and it's blue. There you go, easy. I think now is a good time to explore a little more and do some more playing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you snippets of each of the presets, and then I'm gonna jump into the different delay settings themselves and just mess around a little bit and see what we can do. So I hope you enjoy this footage of me playing around and having fun. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on this pedal in the comment down below because I would love to know what you guys think. Personally, I love it. The fact that you have 11 different delays kind of stored in one unit and all of those delays on their own are such strong kind of 
delay units, delay pedals. Um, it just makes for like a mega pedal, like a mega delay pedal. There's so much you can do with it. There's so many options and you can use it in so many different ways. So you can use it just to add a little bit of wet to your rhythm tone, to like give you stadium sized lead tones um, or to get proper trippy with it, which is something I really enjoy doing. Whenever I jam with a delay pedal, I love to kind of like play along with myself, be it through call and response or like doing stuff in a round. I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but yeah. Thanks so much for checking out my demo and review of the brand new Wampler Metaverse. I also wanna just say a really big thank you to Wampler for hooking me up with this unit. I'm very excited to use it some more. And if you would like to find out how you can get your hands on one and find out more info on it, head to the links in my description and it'll take you there. My question to you for this video is which delay setting was your favorite and why? Drop your answer in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and head to my Patreon for loads more additional exclusive content such as vlogs, tabs, tutorials, behind the scenes, one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls, merchandise and more. All right, that's all for today, my lovelies, and I will see you in the next video. Or I hope to see you. Anyway, please come, it'll be fun. I promise. Bye. <laughs>